If there's one thing that this pandemic is teaching all of us is all community and how to share and love one another in close proximities. But that's not really the message that I'm trying to get across. What I'm trying to really say is that barbershop appointments are going to be super difficult. Look at this quaff. This isn't even normal. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can get to talking about this fragrance because if I start to focus on this hair right now, I'm going to lose it. Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, c 3 u 3 3 a aka Bird Hair. I don't fucking understand how I'm gonna cope with the next, what, three months that we might be in quarantine with this fucking dude? I look like Robert Downey in an 80s movie. This shit is absolutely recalculous. But the fragrance that I have on hand today is by Bath and Body Works. Now, these fragrances had a substantial amount of hype, so much so that they're sold out pretty much anywhere, and anywhere that has them has them for like 70 plus dollars, which you stoop. The fragrance is none other than Bath and Body Works Suede. Now the easiest way to describe this fragrance, which is going to make this video super short and quick, is a suedeier or leatherier version of the original Aqua de Gio. That's all this fragrance is. It's not a bad fragrance at all, it's quite nice because it smells like Aqua de Gio, just with a bumped up leathery note, with a little bit less performance than Aqua de Gio. Now, it is smoother, less sharper, but it's also cheaper and performs a lot less. And in all actuality, the price point that this shit is going for, you can just get the fucking original Aqua de Gio and you'll be Gucci. I don't understand the hype about this fragrance unless you've never smelled Aqua de Gio before, then you've never lived on Earth before because it was and maybe still is the most popular fucking fragrance in history. There's no way, shape, or form that you should pay 70, 80, 90, 100 dollars for this fragrance. How about we don't pay anything more than the 30 dollar price tag that it probably originally had? I bought this in a bundle. It was partially used, as you can see. This isn't me like, oh, I sprayed it so much because I love it. No, bitch, it came like that. This is just meh, not worth the price that you're getting for it now. If you don't want Aqua de Gio, then you don't probably want this. It does have more more of a leathery note when it dries down completely, but when it dries down completely, it's just a fucking skin set, so it's only for you to smell and nobody else around you. Doesn't perform well on my skin, maybe on yours it's a projection monster with 16 hours of longevity, and then I would call you a liar. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Is this a ball sprayer? Uh, I mean, it's nice. It smells like Aqua de Gio. Aqua de Gio is nice, so it's a quarter of a ball spray because it does have that DNA that we like. It performs shitty, it's super overly priced, and it's just meh. So I'll give it, I don't, I won't even go to me. That's it. That's all it's gonna get because really like 90, 80, 70, 60, 50 bucks? No, absolutely not. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is. Holy shit. Smooches. Fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga gay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would. <laughs>